Today I'd like to discuss a recent purchase of mine. I've had this thermal camera for a, a few months. Um, it's the model HTI HT175 handheld thermal imaging camera. Um, basically I needed a thermal camera to try and pinpoint a few issues. Room for improvement around the house. I've been having a, a thermal efficiency program of works. I've been trying to improve things where possible. So I bought this camera as a useful tool. So let's unbox it. In the box you get one camera. It's quite simple. This is a budget end camera. It uh, personally cost me £125. I just thought I'd start with a basic camera and then consider the, the need to upgrade later on. These may well end up getting cheaper as technology devalues. Um, the resolution is 32 by 32. Now with hindsight I would have got one with a greater rev resolution. <coughs> anyway, it comes with two convenient battery packs, which is great if your battery fails mid-job. Just simply change the battery, like so. I've actually left the plastic protective cover on, I tend to do that, but I've, I've worked with this in some quite dirty conditions. I'll switch it on. It takes a while to boot up, but I think we're working. A thermal image of my hand for the purposes of it. I'd describe this camera as crude but effective. Um, I have used it to pinpoint a few areas which needed work. Um, I've used it around the windows to work out my uh, draft. draft switch were coming in and heat loss. I've tried to use it to pinpoint areas around the house where energy has been escaping. It has actually worked quite well uh, in doing that. There's obviously, you'll see videos of more expensive cameras which will cost anything between £1,000 and £2,000. That was simply not a budget I was willing to work to in purchasing a thermal camera. All I wanted was a camera I could just basically point to areas of my own property and conduct a DIY thermal survey. Um, I will be doing a series of videos on that. I will uh, link them to this video as and when. But it's surprising what this little camera has found and the areas which I've subsequently improved. It's been a very good purchase in that respect. The downside is the resolution is basic, but it has certainly sufficed for my needs. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.